Hey Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. This is your January 2020 reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys? Um, I recently posted a 2020 year ahead predictions video, so if you haven't had a chance, please um, go ahead and take a peek at that and see what may be coming up month by month in 2020. I also did a uh, an overview video of all the cards in the tarot. So if you're watching a lot of tarot, I'd highly recommend that so you can get um, familiar with the cards and really get to understand the meanings and even the meaning behind the whole deck because the Rider weight deck is all about the soul's journey. The Fool represents the soul and your soul is always victorious. Okay, so no matter who you meet along the way, along this journey, your soul will always be victorious. It's always guiding you to a higher path. So thank you, too, to everyone who's subscribed. I really appreciate that. It's fun for me to see subscribers. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when new videos come out. I think this month, instead of doing my weekly sign videos, I might do a mid-month check. We'll see. Um... We'll just see how it goes because I'm doing a couple long videos right in a row and, you know, I might need a bit of a break. But anyway, I hope you're off to a great start and you set your intentions for this new year and know that abundant things are yours. You can have the things. You can have, do, or be anything. You just have to raise your vibration and find the frequency that those things are on. So, speaking of frequency... We are going to start the reading with an Ask and It Is Given card for Taurus. Okay, so we're going to do an Abraham Hicks card. They have a lot of great books. Um, Into the Vortex, Ask and It Is Given, Law of Attraction, Money in the Law of Attraction, all kinds of great books if you want to know how to manifest things in your life. Now, I absolutely love this card for you this month, Taurus. I love the picture of this white horse. In my appreciation, I offer no resistance. Appreciation and self-love are the most important aspects you could ever nurture. Appreciation of others and the appreciation of yourself are the closest vibrational matches to source energy of anything we have ever witnessed anywhere in the universe. So, yeah, so it's encouraging you to appreciate things around you and more like it will come in. So what is going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2020 for Taurus? So here is your present position, the Ace of Wands. And an immediate influence is the Page of Swords. And then down here we have um, your kind of destiny or your goal the Queen of Pentacles, and then behind you in the past, you have the Ten of Swords, so I'm glad that's there. Another um, upcoming influence is the Six of Wands, then you have the Four of Cups in the near coming future, as you, you have represented yourself here by the Wheel of Fortune, I really like that. Others around you are the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles here. And the outcome is the Empress. Very nice reading for you guys. Slide these over just a touch. Okay, looks very good, Taurus. Um, I definitely think for those of you that are looking to manifest um, some new things in your life, that's for sure going to be coming. So in the your current influence, you've got this Ace of Wands, which is all about new beginnings, um, it's all about taking action in a new way, but you have it, interestingly enough, influenced by the Page of Swords. So, you know, you tend to be very steady, very controlled, not, not controlling, but controlled um, as an earth sign. And it may be, you know, something with the Spirit telling you to get outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, don't be afraid to speak up for yourself, to set boundaries. Now, we do have to be careful a little bit with that Page of Wands because even though he's all about communication, he's not the greatest communicator. Um, he's not as adept at using that sword as, let's say, a king or a queen might be. But either way, it is about communication. So I do think um, you're going to be starting something up here 
and you're just going to be getting a ton of communication around it. Um, but pages too oftentimes bring a reward, so it's possible too that um, you'll be given something for you know whatever this new endeavor is. It could be work related, but also it could be love, but it could be work related too. Um, but whatever it is, you are going to be getting communication around it, and it's going to seem like it takes off very quickly. It's not a stagnant kind of energy at all. Um, you know, if it's, are you wondering if, if a person is going to be coming back around or coming towards you? The answer is yes, with the Ace of Wands, especially with the Page of Swords. Now, you might be a little bit devil may care and a bit reckless, but they will be coming towards you, no doubt about that. Now, your, kind of your destiny or your, you know, really your strongest desires here is uh, stable stability with money stability with the home with if so if it's love if it's money either way those would be part of what the Queen of Pentacles brings um, it's very nurturing you want a situation where you feel very sure of what to expect um, and you know you're becoming clear and clear about what you want here with this Queen of Pentacles this also could be you but I do think you do have quite a few um, cards about manifestation and about money, but I also think this is about kind of that happy home. The queen can be a bit of a perfectionist, so I do feel like it's spirit telling you to, you know, it's okay to have standards, but just be careful with, you know, not scrutinizing people to the point that you are pushing away people who could be a good mate for you. Um, now, in the past, somebody double-crossed you. You felt very defeated, very let down by somebody and almost attacked in a situation. So that's in the distant past. So I do feel like um, for some of you, there is going to be somebody coming back around who um, maybe even just kind of ghosted you where they did something and it's like they were too immature to deal with it. So they just kind of left. Um, if it's a business or a money thing in the past, I think you have been taken advantage of from a monetary monetary standpoint. And that's not going to be any longer, but you're going to be guarded when it comes to entering into new ventures. I think you're not one who loans out money easily. Taurus doesn't tend to be, Taurus tends to be frugal anyway, but I, I definitely think you've been double crossed in some way here. Now, up above you here, and this is also like, this is like a more recent past. You've been feeling really good, really stable in these last couple months, I'd say, maybe beginning October, November, December. You've just been getting into a better place in life. Maybe you're meditating more, going to the gym regularly, drinking enough water, taking care of yourself, seeing like your bank account just seems to grow where you've paid off some bills so you don't have you know, automatic withdrawals to a bill that maybe you've had for a while. Um, I just feel like you've been very stable and really sure of yourself. And so in this upcoming couple months here, January into February, I think somebody's going to come with an offer, but you're not sure you want it. Um, whether, again, it's work-related or this person from the past, you're just not sure and you're going to take your own time. You are not going to be rushed on this. Um, I'm seeing offers in a few different places for you. So whoever this is, they really want to team up with you. They really want to collaborate. They want to have you consider them as a life partner. Um, and it could be somebody, too, if it's from the past, where it wasn't like a terribly serious thing, but you're just a little bit apprehensive. Or maybe they've been a player and now they're trying to show they've mended their ways and you're not quite buying what they're selling. Um, so you have an ending of a cycle here with this Wheel of Fortune and this always brings a blessing. I love to see this card in readings because there's really not a bad way to interpret it. There's, there's nothing about this where you know, you don't want to see it show up. It's all about manifestations. You are going to have a month where you could access, like I said, manifestations, but infinite abundance. These are, this is a big manifestation. This isn't some, you know, $2 scratch off lottery ticket. This is something big where it could be a month to remember. January will be a month to remember, I think, for Taurus. Um, 
This is um, also too, it can be Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio represented. It's actually in your spot, so this could just be you being represented here, but um, it is a transformative time. That's what, what I'm getting. It's a time for you to kind of come into your own, lead with your personal power, and know that whatever you your heart's desire is, you can have it. So the people around you are noticing that too. You are looking really good to somebody and they want your, they want you. I mean, they, I was going to say they want your ass, but they want you. They do. They want you. If it's work, they're, you're going to be getting solicitations to possibly leave, you know, from headhunters that are going to call you at your desk. And I've had this happen to me by people, um, or random cell phone calls we're looking for somebody in your position would you be willing to do this or even a consulting kind of a thing um, money's going to be really good but again if it's a person around you they they just think you know you're the whole enchilada they want it with you and they don't they don't have eyes for anybody else so if they've been a player in the past i do think you can trust that they've mended that and they realize you are the real deal and they're willing to, you know, delete everybody off their phone. They're, in fact, if they don't show up with that already done, I'd probably say keep it moving. But I do think they're going to be in alignment. They're going to be ready for you. And, you know, your overall, your kind of your, your hopes, but also to um, your inner emotions on this is kind of not sure if it's a big enough offer you know it's a page he's kind of immature and he's got this little pinnacle and I think you're you're looking for a bigger offer you want that big offer not just some little puny thing um, so part of that is believing that that can happen and then you end with I really do like this um, oh, and I, I'm gonna pull off these two too from the bottom of the deck sorry I just took them off of here um, as clarifiers, I should have done this before, but you've got the Magician and the Queen of Cups, huge manifestation cards here, okay? This is, again, this is infinite abundance. You have an energy this month that is unstoppable. Um, like I said, it will be a month to remember for sure, but I do feel like with the love um, potential here, um, this is somebody that you know, wants to move heaven and earth to be with you, they are going to come forward and really lay it all out on the line. And they're there to be taken seriously. This is not somebody who's going to be in and out. They're very stable. Um, they are going to know how to treat you. And I think you could really fall in love and have um, something that begins in January that I would say probably by June or July is going to be very clear. So even if it's not somebody that you know, and it's somebody who kind of shows up unexpectedly this is going to be a relationship that will really evolve for you um, I think you could by summertime be taking trips with this person planning ahead really being serious with this so this empress card is is really the outcome card but with those two as clarifiers you can't go wrong with that um you know this is all about being unconditional and kind and loving so Clear your mind, okay? Take that 10 minutes in the morning to meditate and just clear your mind. And things will come in. The universe will deliver to you. So very nice reading for you guys. Um, I, I, I can't really do better than that. Sometimes when the readings are shorter, it's just because they're so clear. So thanks again to everyone who's tuning in, watching the videos, subscribing. I love you, Taurus, and I'll see you again next week.